everybody, Adam at Flash Building here with another Flash tutorial geared for ActionScript 3, suitable for CS3 and CS4. And this exercise is going to be demonstrating how to add pressing enter on the keyboard to submit forms to your project. And this is very handy to know because most people, when they're using any kind of software, they can fill in the form data using uh, their keyboard, type in all their form data and press enter on their keyboard directly to submit the form. They don't have to put their mouse on the button physically and press it. They can just press enter on the keyboard and that's what we're going to show you how to add to your flash files here. Okay, first thing is create new ActionScript 3 file. And once inside, I'm going to drag out a rectangle primitive. And it's going to be my submit button. I'm going to change the color from black in the fill to some other nice light color. That works for me. Okay, now put some text on it. Let's say submit. Make sure that's static text. And back. I'm just making a button for the form. You guys all know how to do this already. Okay, so now with all my elements for the button sitting there, I'm going to highlight both of them, right click, convert to symbol, button type, and I'm going to name it my button. My BTN, that's good. And the instance name, I'm going to give it the instance name of submit BTN. And this is the name that I will communicate with the button through code. Now we have that button. Let's add a dynamic text field to stage now just to listen for the status of what's happening. Make it dynamic. Let's give it a instance name of status underscore txt. Now let's go ahead and make it bigger. You can make it any size you want it. And a line left is good. 14. Dynamic. Multi-line. That's great. Alright. Now we can put in some code. Now this little application is just to demonstrate the code exercise that we're going through here. And this would be like a form, or maybe a chat box you have on your site, or whatever that's flash based that has a submit data button. After somebody puts in some data, they're, they're used to pressing enter on their keyboard from HTML forms. That's how HTML forms work. You can put in something to a text field, press enter, and it submits the form. So people are very used to that kind of functionality, so it's a good idea to give it to them when you're making your flash applications too. So they want to be able to press the button to submit the data or just hit enter on their keyboard. Now let's create a new layer, insert layer above the layer with the graphic elements and everything on it. Double click it and rename it AS3 because that's where our ActionScript 3 is going to go. Now let's see, we have instance name there, instance name on that. Okay, now we can talk to those two items through code. Now let's go to the AS3 layer and press F9 or you can go and just open your actions panel so let's highlight that keyframe press F9 and put in some code okay this code that I had pre-made and I just pasted in is a button click event listener and the mouse event click function <laughs> click function like most people use you didn't hear that and then so this would be like your form basically because most forms have a submit button listener that has a, a function targeted on it and that function fires off or that function is triggered when that button is clicked so this sh application should work now if I press control enter you click the button yes it does work okay that's great so that would be your normal scenario how most people have their form set up now I'm going to show you how to allow people to simply press enter using your existing form setup and your button and everything. They'll just be able to press enter on their keyboard. So let's go down a couple of lines and I have some more pre-written code here that I'm going to show you and explain. Now on line 10 let's paste this in. So it's not very many lines extra needed and a lot of these lines are me putting in comments talking to you about what the code is doing. So what happens is we set a stage event for the uh, to report the key down when somebody presses so basically we add an event listener to the stage which is 
the whole flash file and uh, we add the event listener listening for the key down when somebody presses any key on the keyboard we're going to report key down which is this function here that fires off function report key down you see the event this keyboard event and it closes way down here and the actions that happen inside of it are nested right here so the actions that happen inside of the report key down function are we create a variable called key code and it's in a number type or integer type and it's the event dot character code and this is the way you can access what key is being pressed and they all have a number for instance enter is 13 and I found that out by doing this trace so when I pressed enter on my keyboard trace key card code showed me that it was 13 so knowing that I was able to code in an if condition here saying if my key card code that I pressed equals 13 happens to be the enter button because you don't want somebody to be able to press the the L key and submit a form just the enter key so we can target it using this if condition okay now the part here that's the last part to explain is so if if the key code equals 13 that means if the enter button is pressed on the keyboard the enter key then this is going to happen so what happens is we target the submit button this button on stage we already made we target that submit button and we add dispatch event function to it and inside that dispatch event function we add a new mouse event of mouse event click which will actually force the button to get clicked it won't just simulate the button being clicked it actually clicks the button uh, when you press enter okay so let's test it out control enter let's press submit okay that works fine let's press control enter again try it out now I'm not gonna press the submit button I'm just gonna hit the enter key see there you have it both work exactly the same and you can just copy and paste all this code I have right there just change the name of your submit button right there and it'll work for you okay have a happy day goodbye